thank you, thank you, thank you to these wonderful YouTubers. Please check them out. So people have asked me for my process for cleaning and support removal, so I figured here's a really quick video on doing it. You see my uh, Tupperware container full of IPA. I'm wearing my gloves even though I'm using the bio resin because honestly I don't trust Chinese companies, so just in case this is toxic, I'm wearing my gloves. So I'm scraping it in there. I believe, and I have no proof of this, but I believe if IPA can kind of melt off uncured resin and you know being how strong it is i think it would degrade even the finished product the finished product still needs to be cured in the sun or under a uv lamp which means it's not fully cured obviously so i think ipa can degrade it so i want it in and out of my ipa actually as quickly as possible so you'll see i'm, I'm going to spend no longer than one minute brushing it lightly with the toothbrush and that's a super soft toothbrush and i'm brushing really really lightly because you know, even though I, don't, I think it's kind of difficult to damage it, I don't even want any damage from this. Also, uh, I shake it, I agitate it as I'm doing this just to uh, try to shake off any resin in areas that I can't reach. Um, so I'm, you see me brushing the supports and stuff, and the reason why I'm doing that is when I dunk it in that nasty little cup you see next to it, I try to minimize the amount of resin that's going in there anyway, so I do brush off the supports on the bottom just to try to minimize the resin that goes in there so I don't have to clean that thing as often. So you see me just very lightly scrubbing it. And the only reason I'm even doing it this long, I want to make sure to get off the uncured resin. I, I like to keep it there, like I said, for at least one minute. And look, you see, some of my super light supports broke off just from that gentle action. That's how, you know, you guys know if you watch my other videos, uh, how light my supports are. Now, unfortunately, on this model, you'll see as I pull it out, there was a tiny little bit of failure because this is a new resin for me and I just ran it at my normal settings because I didn't know what settings to use for this because there's no information on it. So a few of my ultra lights at the tip of the spear failed and you'll see the tip of the spearhead right there doesn't have supports attached to it. Th those failed. The spearhead came out a little messed up and the spearhead from his back uh, came out like a little bent looking you'll see. So anyway, after I do that IPA for a minute, I just let it drain. Uh, while it's draining on my paper towels, normally what I do is uh, I have hot water just running in my sink and then I fill up that cup with hot water. Because I'm in the kitchen doing this just to get a better lighting and scene, I actually boil the water uh, in a pan and I'm just going to come pour it in, which I don't normally do. The funny thing you'll see here is when I reach in there, the water's actually a little hotter than I thought. And even with my gloves on, because those gloves are so thin, the water's like burning my hand. You might, you might see my hand flinch a little bit when I put it in, which is kind of funny. So, but anyway, you want the water not boiling, of course. You don't want to be burning yourself like I just did here, uh, coming up in a second. But you do want it pretty hot. And you watch what happens to the supports in hot water. So I'm shaking the hot water. And like the IPA, water is an acid. I'm not sure it can do anything to resin. But because the resin isn't totally cured, I'm also scared. See, I just snapped the supports off. I'm scared that the model might absorb some of the water and, and swell and lose a tiny little bit of detail. I don't think it can absorb much water, but even a little bit, a little absorption, I don't want to lose detail. So you see, I can just actually snap off and kind of wipe off with my fingers all the supports once it's in hot water, and I just don't get back in to make sure. And there you just see it took me 10 seconds to remove all the supports. I'm just showing you that the spear's a little bent because some supports failed there. So I'm going to reprint this at a slightly higher exposure time, and then uh, I'll be posting pictures in the Facebook groups, which is the 3D Printed Tabletop Facebook group. Um, this was off the EPAX, so it'll be in the EPAX group and uh, 3D Printed Miniatures group also. So anyway, if you want to check out how the final print really comes out, you, know, you can go there and look. Uh, like I said, with my fingers and my gloves, I literally just pulled all the supports off and basically wiped off 99% of the support nubs. So what I normally do now is I don't do any more to it. I just cure it. And after I cure it, uh, I take a high-res photo, if I can't see with my eye, and to show me you know, things I may have missed. Here, I'm stabbing you with it. Okay. Anyway, so I will uh, use that photo normally to show me if I missed any of those support nubs. And then I'll go back in and use my X-Acto, usually, and scrape them off. And here it is. I just put them in the sun to cure. Uh, the detail came out great, except for those few little support fails, which is really frustrating to me. But it's a new resin, so sometimes it takes me a few tries to get a perfect settings, obviously, with a new resin. Hopefully, I think, just from seeing these few little failures, helps me dial that resin in. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have any light support failures on my next version of this print. And I only had a few here, but it was enough to, in my eyes, ruin the model. But I always keep ruined models because they make, they're make they really good uh, to spray with primer to make sure your primer is not coming out fuzzy. I like to do that. And then the other thing is if the primer comes out good, then I like to use the model to test paint colors of, or color schemes for when I do my real model. So that's it. Hope you liked the video. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And please check out some of my other videos. Thanks and happy 3D printing.